Welcome everyone to Mr. Schultz's class as we begin to graph radical functions. But more importantly, more specifically, we're going to be graphing square roots. Not cube roots, square roots. We'll do cube roots later. And we're going to mess around with this parent function of a square root right here. So if we were to graph this, we could plug in a whole bunch of points, but they're not going to be nice numbers. So if we plugged in 0, we would get the square root of 0 is 0. So our input of 0 will give us an output of 0. Our input of 1, the square root of 1, is 1. But if we put in 2, that would give us the radical of 2. And I don't have a calculator right here to figure that out. So, yeah, that's not going to be nice. So we would skip a couple numbers and not deal with it until we can actually deal with it. The square root of 4 is the square root of 4 is 2. But if you remember, technically, the square root is both positive and negative. But why isn't it this? Well, we are not going to be drawing it in. We are actually limiting the square root, or the square. We're limiting the range of this one. And we're saying, hey, we don't want both answers. We only want the principal root because if we had both then it would not be a function anymore because we'd have one input having two outputs and we don't want that so that's why i'm going to take half of it what does it look like it's actually the quad it kind of looks like the quadratic function so x squared so it actually looks like this. And if we take the inverse of it, that gives us this part right here. And what it's asking us to do is say, hey, take everything else and just forget about it. Don't have anything down here. And so this turns into this. So if you're ever like, oh, man, it's so hard doing the square root, well, just understand that the same answers you're getting here for x squared would be the, the inverse or the reverse. So 2 squared is 4. So if you look over here, 4 comma 2. The next number would be 9 comma 3. So if you get stuck on the square roots, or the yeah, square roots, just understand that it's the reverse of the x squared. So let's go on. So the parent function of this square root function right here, it has a domain of x being greater than 0. What does that mean? Well, that means at this point, it's going to include this right here. So we're going to say, hey, starting, at, starting here, we're going to go to the right. And we're going to include everything. It's going to go forever. So starting right here, it's going to go forever to the right. So that's our domain. Our range, our lowest value right here, is at 0. And then it's going to go all the way up forever. Now, it's not going to go as fast as it's going to go right. But as we go right, it's going to go up forever. So there we go. But we're, we're telling it it has a beginning point. So the domain and range both have a beginning point. So now if we look at it, this is saying, hey, what's our x-intercepts and what's our y-intercepts? But we say, our y-intercept, we say, hey, look, it's f of x. And so why is it that? Well, because it, it, it's like literally right there. Now, sometimes we might draw, we might have it like we start here and then we go up here and then we just have to figure that out. And we could figure that out using a Desmos or plug and chug, plugging in 
zero for x or zero for y. So let's erase that part right there, all right? Next up, so is it increasing or decreasing? Well, as, you know, as we go this way, is it going up or down? Yeah, it's increasing. Now, positive or negative? You know, it's going to be positive. X is greater than zero. And we look at it, and there isn't any symmetry on this. Now, if it was x squared, this would have symmetry. And the reason why it wouldn't have symmetry is because we cut off, we limited the domain of the x squared right here, so we wouldn't have this would stay as a function because otherwise, hey, look right there. It's not a function anymore. All right, guys. So we're going to get into video number two in just a little bit. But thank you, and I will catch you guys in class. Bye.